Check one, two. Go! Curious about real estate? Yes! Then you've come to the right place. Get the knowledge you need. Get over the fear and get started. This is the Michael Quarles Real Estate Show with your host, Michael Quarles. Community brand awareness and engagement. As we set up our business to be successful, I think it's important to also understand the value that businesses place in our culture, in our local localities. And what we can do as business owners, especially those of us who are successful business owners, to help, and while helping promote our business, but to help those folks who, who need the help. You know, there's organizations like Habitat for Humanity, where who goes out and builds a house for a family, the community gets together, sponsors it, people work together for a common good. I think that's pretty cool. But what can we investors do similar to that? Could we, we buy a house and give a house away? Absolutely, if we bought enough houses. Could we start a one-on-one -on -one program where maybe for every house that you buy, you, you donate $1,000 to a homeless shelter kind of thing? Wouldn't that be kind of cool? Think about that one for a second. For every house you buy, you, you give away to a homeless shelter or a, a, a woman's shelter or a men's shelter uh, money so people that don't have homes have a place to stay, have a place to eat, have a place to, to live, whether, or not it, whether it's permanent or temporary. When we do these kinds of things, if we do them silently, that's okay. But we probably ought not to do it silently. We probably ought to let people know that we're doing it. I mean, first of all, we have the choice to do it or, or not do it. It's not something we have to do. So we're doing it because we want to. So, uh, and then because we want to and we have, it's a good cause, yeah, let's tell someone about it. Let's tell the news that we're doing it. Let's tell our clients that when we do it, when we advertise. I think it would be just a really cool thing. For every house I buy and sell, I donate $1,000 to the Habitat for Humanities project. Or, you know, start doing some self-sponsoring. Maybe we want to do Christmas drives. You know, start the local toy drive. You know, there's all kinds of toy drives already, but kids need more toys. Why don't you start, you know, you're a successful investor. Why don't you start another program that says, you know, I buy houses, toy drive, annual toy drive, get it on the news. Yeah, it's going to take a couple years for it to take hold. People will help you. People will help donate toys. And the key focus point is two things. Kids that didn't have anything for Christmas are now going to get toys. And your name is going to be recognized as the, the, the company who sponsored it. Outstanding. I remember the years that I used to sponsor uh, grammar school, so I was the school sponsor. So if they needed something uh, and it wasn't in the budget, by gosh, I got a phone call. But I gave them pencils, I catered lunches. I even dressed up one year as Santa Claus and gave away some, some bicycles to a classroom. And these kids were so happy to see Santa. And man, what a cool thing it was. The schools were in the neighborhoods that I wanted to buy houses in. So naturally it had some benefit to me besides just making me feel really good about it. But we can start promoting ourselves, promoting our brand, start being interactive with your community. Pick a charity, any charity, just pick one and, and let them know that you're going to be a gorilla investor and you're going to help promote them. All charities want your help. Find one, pick one. Maybe they have some that you have some that are really dear and, and, and to your heart. Maybe you've someone in your life, relatives or friends have died of cancer. Maybe you need to go to the, the cancer walk every year and promote it. Be one of the major promoters. I mean, guys and gals, we make a ton of money buying houses. Let's start giving some of that money back. I mean, oh my goodness gracious. There's not a lot of people that make the amount of money that we make. And it's going to feel really good. And it's going to help our business prosper. It's just the, why we're in business. You know, I remember the time that I walked in uh, the grocery store and on Thanksgiving and I bought everybody groceries. Now, I wasn't crazy. I only took $5,000 with me, but I spent $5,000 
buying everybody's groceries that day. I've bought 22 cars, I believe the count is currently, for people that I don't know or I, I don't know well. They needed a car. They couldn't get around, couldn't get to work, couldn't get into life. They had a driver's license. Seemed like good citizens to me. I bought them a car. When's the last time that you've been interactive in the community? You presented your brand in a positive light. You've let people know that the reason you could do these things is because you're a real estate investor. What a cool thing. Become active. Do it on purpose. You know, I always tell people, you know, to look and wear and, and dress like a real estate investor so people know you're a real estate investor. Uh, I think it's important that when you're walking around, people know it. You know what? If you see someone that needs help, help goes a long way in the community. You know, if you have the red shirt that says I buy houses on and you just help someone, that person may or may not need anything that you have in business. But someone that saw you do that may. They may see that guy over gal over there that's helping someone for whatever reason, dressed up in an I buy houses shirt. And it's going to click next time they need to sell a house. Maybe they're going to think about you. Maybe they're going to start bragging about you. I saw this guy or gal. He must buy houses for a living. And he was helping these, these people. What a cool thing. I mean, every last time I saw the Girl Scouts, I bought all of the Girl Scout cookies. I mean, and I, you know, I, I just get to do it. I get to have fun. I, you know, I think I still have Girl Scout cookies. I don't think I'll ever eat all those Girl Scout. I hope I don't eat all those Girl Scout cookies. Let's get involved. Become part of the Better Business Bureau, you know, the Chamber of Commerce, the, you know, the social clubs, the political clubs. Get your name out there. Tell people what you do. You know, it, it, we talk about social and uh, cultural goals all the time. But what better social goal is there than to be uh, on the Young Republicans in their Young Republicans Club or the Young Democrats Club or the Old Republicans Club or the Old Democrats Club or, or some club that's going to define who you are and at the same define to who you are with who you are. So here you are, you're, you're, a, you're an investor, you're profitable, you're a guerrilla investor, and you're leading, you know, the pack. People want to appreciate you. They're going to notice you. They're going to tell people about you. You know, start doing stuff like that. If anybody's listening to this and after it's done, they don't do this, shame on them. When you're done listening to me, I want you to call your local news radio stations and TV stations because you're a guerrilla investor. And you know what? Each one of those news stations, radio and TV, they need local experts in the marketplace who they can talk to when there's a real estate event that needs an expert opinion. Yes, I know. I just asked you to become an expert in real estate and be on the news when the news needs an opinion about people who buy houses and what a community involvement uh, positive that is. Do you realize, guys and gals, for a second, that we are buying a house that's being run down? They can't. The people that own it can't afford it. We're buying that house in that neighborhood. That neighborhood doesn't want that house. They wish someone would come in like us buy that house, fix it up, or sell it to somebody who's going to fix it up, beautifying the neighborhood. What a powerful, powerful, powerful thing that we can do by getting involved in our community, but we need to tell people we're doing it. And that self-promotion will now promote for us. When we start doing it on purpose and people start seeing the event and they can start counting on us doing it, you'll get people to call you who will tell you as I have, I called you because you bought a house around the corner and you did such a great job. I thought that you could take care of my house too. Isn't that great? And again, I mentioned earlier the one-on-one -on -one programs. Man, find something. I'm going to give you know five hundred dollars for every house I buy. I'm going to give ten thousand dollars for every house I buy. Whatever. I'm going to give a percentage of of every house I buy to something, not just. Not just do it like, well, I don't know who I'm going to do it to, so I'm just going to give all the money away to some charity and let them take care of it. No. Pick a charity. Get responsible. Become part of the charity. Tell the news who's, who you've called as the expert that you're doing this. They'll write an expose on you. They'll interview you. They'll put you in the newspaper. 
Man, they want people to do things like this. Let's do it. And people will actually be attracted to your business model. And if, if you're sitting there in front of the seller and the seller says, why should I pick you over this other person and both offers are equal, then you can look at that other person. You can ask him this question. Mr. or Mrs. Investor, when you buy this house, how much of the proceeds are going to go into the local community as from a charity perspective? Because I know for every house I buy, I donate some of those proceeds to folks and families who are homeless, in shelters, in some sort of a situation where they don't have anybody else to count on. And I'm proud to say they can count on me. Let's do this stuff. Okay? Man, if you don't learn anything else from me in life, understand that you can't take it with you. It makes you feel so much better when you do things for people. And don't do them for the wrong reasons. Make sure it's a business decision. It's responsible. What you do is responsible to your, your, the society that you're in, the locations that you're in. Don't harm people. It's not ego driven, but there is rewards to doing it. And there is a difference between doing something because it's ego driven. Like I want to tell the world that I can do all this. It's different than doing something to help somebody and then telling the world that you did it. So make sure your priority is first in, I want to help someone and not in, I want to help myself. But man, visit a hospital if that's all you can do. Wear your I buy houses shirts. Tell all those nurses and doctors in that hospital what you do and just say, hey, I want to come. If there's anybody here that needs, you know, they don't have a family. I just want to come sit with people. Go to a, an older folks home. Do the same thing. Say, is, is there anybody here that doesn't have family visiting them? Can I? Is anybody that needs me to read to them, talk to them? Man, they would love. These folks would love to have your company. It's, it, it doesn't even cost anything. You just have to do it. Get your brand out there. Get your person out there. Tell people that you tell people that you are a community aware person and that you want to help. Do it. So all you got to do is just do it. Just get up there and volunteer yourself to help people. And doing that will in turn help you. I hope you take this one to heart, guys and gals. I really do. I've spent my entire life focused on helping people. That's all I really want is I just want to help. I want to be able to give back to somebody something that I was gifted to have. And it, and it just, I can tell you, it feels good. Man, let it feel good for you too. Until next time, you guys take care. Bye-bye. Thanks for listening to the Michael Quarles Real Estate Show. Get more info and stay in touch at michaelquarles.com.